Hello YouTube, welcome back from my stoop. Um, again it's been a while and uh, it seems like every time I'm, I'm doing a video I, I had to explain why it takes so long be, uh, since the previous one. But basically it's because I'm, I'm doing a lot of things and uh, Maybe my wife is actually correct, because she's got saying East is least and I, I'm not sure what it stands for, but I know what it, <laughs> what you mean what you mean meant to tell me, and that is that um, finish a project before you start a new project because I've got typical ADHD, a lot of projects of which I'm every day doing one thing or the other. But in any case, apart from that, I was also in Pretoria for a week. My mother's not well, so um, yeah, it was quite a busy. But I'll I'll try to uh, to do it more often. Um, mm. woody, leathery, but that's what I want to talk about. Um, it's a review. Uh, Tony English, I mentioned to you a few videos ago, Tony English uh, was so generous um, to send me a, a, a parcel uh, or a box of uh, tobacco from, from the States. Two of them were GLP Lagonda and McLeland number 13, 14. So I would like to review this, but uh, thanks again, Tony. Um, it's great, and uh, there's two more. Uh, or the other one was a th Three Oaks um, Cyprian. No, Syrian. <laughs> I'll have to check that one. But uh, today I would like to review these two. Um, so let's start on the GLPs because this is that's what's in here in my uh, Stanwell Anderson. It says here a luxurious. Luxurious blend comprising generous portions of Cypress, Cypress Latakia, Ripe Red Virginias and Fine Oriental Leaf with a bit of bright added, bright what? Probably Virginia, added for a hint of subtle sweetness. Pressing and aging in cakes integrates the flowers and partially ferments the tobaccos. The cakes are then sliced and tumbled into ribbons ready for your enjoyment. Now, uh, as far as I know, the, what's in here is um, Virginia, uh, Latakia, and uh, Orientals. Um, yeah, Orientals and Latakia. Now, again, like many of my previous GLPs, brilliant. Although I must say, I didn't get the sweetness, the subtle sweetness that uh, that the tin says, and I'll I'll tell you why. Because when when I compare it to the other one, you, uh, maybe there is if you only if that's the only one that, that you're doing. But here I get just a woody, earthy. A wonderful smoky earthy uh, earthy smell uh, and I noted here from a previous time yeah woody earthy smoky uh, leathery and uh, and even in the taste that's that's what you get so um, so it's really very very nice but as I said maybe the Maybe the accent is on the subtle sweetness because subtle indeed, um, so subtle that 
I wouldn't mention sweetness in this tobacco. But I'm not saying it's bad. I'm, I'm saying it's actually very, very good. Uh, again, one of my favorites. I would easily make this uh, uh, a four out of five. Um, it goes there with all my other. Remember, I've got only, I think, two five out of fives, of which one is uh, Vincennes. So, yeah, it's a very, very good tobacco. But if you're looking for something sweet, um, you're going to be a little bit disappointed. If you're looking for a smoky earthiness. Great. Okay. I don't even want to put it down, but let me go to the next one. The next one is uh, mixture number 14 from McClelland. By the way, a lot of people say they smell and taste the ketchup or something in McClelland tobaccos. <laughs> I've never, I've never tasted or smelled it, but in any case. This one says, dark with Latakia and Black Virginias, deeply seasoned with Orientals, a classic full mixture. It is indeed uh, a classic full mixture. And remember I said about the sweetness of the other one? This one, you can clearly, clearly note a, a sweetness, flowery blossom, blossomy. Yeah, blossoms, it, it's like spring blossoms. Yeah, so this one, totally different, um, purely for, for that, maybe it's the dark, what, what did they say there, the dark, um, deeply seasoned, yeah, uh, Black Virginia, maybe it's the Black Virginia, I don't know. Um, Smooth, uh, what did I write here? Smooth, uh, incense, there's a hint of incense there. And, uh, and the smokiness, the smokiness is very subtle in this one. And a little bit of that sweetness that, uh, that if, you, if you're looking for a little bit more sweetness, this one. So, um, this is number 14 of McClelland. It's also a very, very nice tobacco. The aftertaste is that blossomy, flowery, Yeah, so uh, friends, that's um, that's a review on two of the tobaccos that uh, Tony English sent me. Um, thank you very much, and uh, I appreciate and uh, um, it's just very nice to you know to experience such generous and nice people. Uh, on the piping community. So, uh, so, thank you again. I've got quite a few, a few things that, which I like to share with you. Not today. And that's why I can't understand why it takes so long for the next video because I've got these ideas and then I want to make videos of them. The one thing is what I've learned 
uh, through my desert-like experience. The other one is about my uh, congregation. I've mentioned to you I've got two parts, a traditional one or an Afrikaans speaking one and a Zulu speaking one. Um, and although it's one congregation, we do two sermons at the day, on a Sunday. Um, yeah, so a few things that I would like to share with you, but for now, thank you for watching and please subscribe and uh, throw in your comments or your requests or whatever you want. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for all the community friends out there. Enjoy your day, enjoy your week, enjoy your pipe smoking, it's meant for that. Bye-bye.